A central Ohio subway store is getting set to reopen this morning. This comes after employees who worked there were accused of taking some lewd photos on the job. We want to check in with Tino Ramos right now, who is in Dublin with where that store, uh, where that took place in the store, and it's been fully sanitized, Tino, to get ready to reopen today. Is that right? And, and that was the goal behind this whole thing, and obviously it's these two workers that the health department are blaming for them taking uh, action against the subway shop. It's just located right behind me here along Tuttle Crossing here. The owners have been cleaning up all night. They're looking to reopen the business again today after these disgusting pictures, according to them, surfaced. And shocking the uh, owners here and also shocking some of the customers who come here to the shop. Now, let me take you in there and show you exactly what we're dealing with here. According to the officials here, the pictures, they surfaced on social media, and one shows a man putting his genitals on what appears to be bread dough. The other shows someone holding up a bottle with a caption saying they froze their urine at work. Now, these pictures led to the two subway employees being fired and the restaurant temporarily closing, and it led to some strong reaction from customers who visit the shop. Sometimes these things kind of go on in fast food restaurants and most of us just don't really want to know about it. I don't get it. I don't get what the joke is. I don't get that it's funny. Yeah, now the, the uh, city rather is considering criminal charges over this matter against those two. In the meantime, company officials tell us that they do their best to hire properly. They just had a couple of kids who don't understand the ramifications of what they do and what they post. But today they're hoping to put it all behind them again. The owners have been cleaning up the shop. They're hoping to open back up today, putting it all behind them, hopefully, or at least trying to gain back the loyalty of their customers. Of course, we'll keep you updated on the story. In Dublin, Tino Ramos, 10TV News.